Hello, and um, what this is going to be is I'm going to do a, a, a talk through a A-level book. And so this is for the title Fine Art. I thought this is a really interesting example of a student. Um, it's because that uh, she uses a variety of different media, um, which we'll see as we go through. Um, but it's also the way that she, you can, you know, read her thoughts, you can see her thoughts. And it makes for a really interesting book. OK, so we start off with a title page. It's quite interesting. She chose her own title. So this is for the A-level course, which is a component one, personal investigation. Lovely little tonal drawing there. So already it's quite it's very intriguing, isn't it? We then move on to a mood board. And a mood board should be... A lovely combination of um, maybe artists that you know, plus, you know, other images that are kind of inspiring you. Then goes on to a mind map, which is really interesting. And mind map should have full of ideas. It should be absolutely full of ideas. So growth of mind here, and we can see some artists that she's thought about, the media, Loads and loads of ideas that she's got here. So we, well, the way that we do the course at our school is that we spend time uh, so right from September for a couple of months. And what we do is that we explore lots of different media. You'll get to start your personal investigation around the kind of February sort of time. Um, and it's after a lot of thought. There's a lot of discussion about what that personal investigation should be. So this student uh, really used for the first time in that kind of lead up out of a little foundation course uh, of photography. And this is something you will see running through her book. So she does a, a very like a, a small ish um, photo shoot here. And she annotates all the way throughout. Now, here is where that you can see that she uses the darkroom. Now, you may not have access to a darkroom, but we have a darkroom at our school. But a darkroom um, helps her to, you know, just trying out lots of different you know, ideas. This page is really interesting. I'm just going to move it along a little bit here. Because she's using some song lyrics. And here she's taken images with a darkroom and she has scratched into it. So you can feel, you won't be able to, but I can feel... The texture of it and then she's added a little bit of ink there as well she's got a little painting here and again more notes so she's talking about her process all the time she's telling us about her process she has her next artist here and it's really good practice to really investigate your artists and to really think about your language that you're using because then you can use these for your essay that you will have to submit as well so you can hear see here how she's writing about the artist she's really thinking about all the different aspects of it you notice there is not um a lot of information that's been just been downloaded off on you know as a result of a search page she's really thinking about here i love to hear some really interesting words she talks about the juxtaposition in the um in the focus uh, she talks about she's noticing lots of different interesting parts so as you're reading it I'm looking afresh at all the different aspects and here we can start to see some drawing so first time we've seen some real sort of drawing I love in this one how the composition is that there's a space here it's, it's left blank and I love how she's used the writing as well so writing is really key to this student and uh, the fact that she combines it together is really interesting little memory here you can see the swing set so we get to see again I like how she's just used those um, photographs she hasn't just copied she's uh, she's just used them as an aid so it's not about just copying you don't get points just for copying things it's really interesting about how you develop ideas now remember developing is a01 and a02 is how we explore and how we refine so you can see here again here 
where the darkroom has been used. Look how she is organising her annotations. My maps are really interesting because my maps help us to really see where the student is thinking. And she's got a load of wealth of ideas, so she's coming to a little bit of a maybe a little bit of a sort of a, a comma, maybe a full stop to say, right, what's next? So she's taken some more photographs here. And what's so interesting, I like the way that's all been arranged, so you can see the photographs are there. And again with the annotations. So she's keeping our interest. The book is really interesting for us to look through. And I should say at this point, this particular student also did a, a lot of pieces outside. So lots of drawings outside book as well. Here you can see the way again she uses the words together. This is a lovely page. Just full of those dark room experimentations. You can see here she's trying out loads of different techniques. She's spent lots of time in that dark room. Dark rooms are relatively easy to set up actual effect. I need a huge amount here. Again, look how the annotations play into it. There's thought about the way it's all been set out as well, which is really important. This book's getting quite heavy. I like that. I like a heavy book. She's using her models really well. So if you do have a willing uh, victim, you know, you can really ask them to, you know, to, to, you, can, you can direct them. You can give them some, you know, well, this, this is the sense of what I want from you. Sometimes it's good to have some images to say, look, this is what I'd like you to do. If you've got a, a you know, if, you've got, if you want, want to work with figures, portraits, and you've got somebody who's willing to work with you, it is such an advantage. Um, but always, I always say, just show them, just talk to them about what they want. And if you are working with portraits or you are working with a figure and someone says no, don't take offence, just go, okay, thanks ever so much. Move on. Just move on. Okay, so I'm just going to have to move this down a little bit. I see a little bit of my house here. There we go. Lots of analysis going on here. really like this page now i really have said i really like this page i'm just going to move that camera around so you can see it all you can see all that that's beautiful now what i love about this is not only is she including her annotations in there there's a real sense of that she's just really experimenting with she's really exploring these ideas that she's got remember her sources are not just artists she's using song lyrics she's using poems she's using a real wide range now, there may be one thing you might have noticed about this book, and that is the lack of colour. So, I think I might have asked at some point, do you think you could add a bit of colour into your work? And there were, again, some pieces outside the book which did make full use of colour. In fact, she's documented those here. So we can see there are a couple of pieces and she's just taking photographs of her work. So we can have a look at that. So again, she goes back to the darkroom. More experimentation with the darkroom. And other mind maps as well. These mind maps are really key because I can see all the, what she's, all the things that she's trying to think through. More photography. And the piece there. So we can see where she's up to. I think it's really important this stage to tell you about how much her skill as a pencil drawer has really leapt on. Now, when we are talking about exploring and experimenting, you don't have to throw everything at it. It's not like, well, now I need to do some printmaking. Now I need to. It's okay. If you keep to pencil, I like to feel that you've explored it to its fullest. And I feel that that's what she's done here. I particularly love that bit around the eyelid. You really get the sense... Of the skin being pulled down, the, the, the fingers pressing into flesh there. That's a really lovely part. Here. And again, she exploits that through here. So you see all those photo shoots, many, 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 many photo shoots. She's, uh, she, her model is really going with her. You know, the model's really going with her. And some of them are getting some beautiful drawings there, but some incredible um, ideas that are coming through more darkroom stuff but what I love about this is it's you know the way that it's kind of where she's using stitching to go through it feels like it's collaged together it's really interesting and then her final piece which these are 
steals from it is a film. Now, as I said, there were huge amounts of pieces outside the book as well. But what was interesting was that this artist, a fine artist, how much she used photography and how much she used film. And that's okay, so you can do that. So there's a nice variety there. And so this is a really strong, strong book to have a look at. Right, I'm going to go on to the second book now. And that is for a later video.